only marry and give babies to the airport dad type. Hello everybody, welcome back. So the girls are talking about the airport dad type. Airport dad type is the type that you settle down with because he's the type of guy who is present, who participates actively in the raising and rearing of the children, okay? He's hands-on, he's emotionally available, he doesn't care getting messy, he doesn't care what people think about him, he knows when to shift his ego aside and let other people's feelings and emotions take over. He's always there in the house fixing hinges in the doors, you know, electrical circuits, plumbings, <laughs> everything. Let's take a look at a few clips and of course I'll come back at the end of the video to share my thoughts. Let's get into it. A few months ago, I was in Paris and I was getting on a flight back to LA. It was a straight flight, which meant it was about 10 hours. And when I sit down, I realize that I am sitting next to a family. So it's a dad and his two daughters and they're probably like eight and ten so when they sat down i had assumed that he was a single dad because i hadn't seen any other mother or woman around and he was taking care of the girls really well like you could tell that he actually knew his kids so the flight takes off we're at the highest elevation right it's like an hour in and then he gets up and goes to the front and he comes back with a baby now the baby was a newborn baby it was like maybe six months you could tell it was like baby baby right so i'm like where did he get this child from then the flight attendants come through and they start giving out food because again it's a long flight so a woman comes back and she's like oh you know i'll take the baby while you eat your food and he was like no 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 you're gonna go sit down back in your seat and i will take the baby until after you eat so she goes back to wherever she came from which was like somewhere in the front we were in economy right so she goes back and he keeps the baby the baby is insanely quiet like i was like confused like oh my gosh this is the best behaved baby on a flight so when it's his time to eat he gets up gives the baby back to this woman in the front right and then after he finishes eating immediately he gets back up and he goes back to the front and he brings the baby back this is now the second time that he has this child like in his possession sitting on his lap the whole time right and the woman comes back and she's like listen like i can take him it's fine and he was like no 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 you go watch a movie i got it like you're good it's okay and for the rest of the flight i sat next to this man who was holding his newborn baby and his two kids that were all we were on the same row and come to find out he had bought his wife who was still nursing a premium economy seat so that she would have enough space and could you know shield herself if she wanted to when she was breastfeeding but he had totally intended to hold the baby when she wasn't breastfeeding right so he was gonna have her plus the two kids that they already had mind you i didn't toss that man i don't know his name i don't know their life story i was just eavesdropping for the 10 hours that we were on the flight together but when she says marry the airport dad she's talking about the man that will buy you an upgraded seat so that you can be extra comfortable when you have to take care of your newborn child and then we'll proceed to take care of everything else outside of that if he is not a super dad on vacation get rid of him so if you're a woman and you know you like a man that got leadership qualities, get you an airport dad. See, an airport dad is a man who you would trust to take care of business, so take care of life. Not a lot of people would trust somebody with a passport, getting them to the airport on time, and all that jazz. All those skills transfer into your family. I can almost guarantee you the man who you would trust to arrange your full trip, get you on time, take care of your passport, etc., is the same man who's going to take good care of your kids. He's going to make sure the bills paid on time and he's going to be hardworking. In fact, I would challenge women to say, if you wouldn't let that man plan a whole trip and hold your passport at the airport because you won't trust to get it done, you don't need to be having a baby with him. In my opinion, airport dads, 10 out of 10 husbands, okay? They're going to get it done. They're going to take care of business and they're going to make sure the family gets to and do what they need to do. Let's expand on the airport dad type. I'm a flight attendant. My name is Charmy. I've been a flight attendant for five years. So I've seen countless couples get on and off of planes and move through airports. So the airport dad starts off as an airport boyfriend or an airport husband. I've seen couples get on board where the guy is carrying all the bags and the woman is carrying her wedding ring, her purse, and her love for him, okay? The airport dad sees the drink cart coming down the aisle and asks his wife's order or his girlfriend's order before the drink cart even gets there. And if she's asleep, he doesn't wake her up for her order. He just gets what she usually drinks and for all of you with a boyfriend that's like you need to drink more water he's ordering her water even if her eyes are closed 
Now, if there are kids involved, airport dad is an active participating parent the entire time. He's going back and forth with Sally to the bathroom, okay? He's watching Bluey on the iPad with one eye open just to make the kid feel engaged. If there's babies involved, airport dad has everything but the baby. He's breaking down the stroll of the jet bridge, coming out with the suitcases and diaper bag, and mom has headed to the seat. I just wanna elaborate on why airport dad is the best. Um, I'm a labor and delivery nurse, and I know that before he was airport dad, he was labor dad. And labor dad is a whole different beast. Labor dad comes in carrying four different duffel bags. He's got two under each arm. He's got one around his neck. He's pushing a suitcase on wheels while you waddle your happy little self into the labor and delivery department, sipping on your Stanley cup water, just happy to be getting this done. Labor dad is the one who doesn't fall asleep. The man may zone off a little bit, but he's got one eye open watching everything, including the monitor. He doesn't know what he's looking at. He doesn't know a single thing up there, but he's watching it. He's watching to tell us that something might not be right. I like labor dad because once there's something that seems to be going off, labor dad is advocating for mom. Labor dad wants to know the options and how we can best address those options. I like Labor Dad once baby is born because Labor Dad is standing over the little incubator or standing over baby and watching every single thing that I'm doing. Labor Dad wants to know why I'm touching, why I'm flipping the baby. Labor Dad's on it. We love Labor Dad. Because these are the moments that you're going to be your most vulnerable. And the worst position you can be in is having a guy who doesn't give a about you even while you're about to have his baby okay and there are guys like that they don't care about the pain you're going through they think you are overreacting just hurry up and get it over with if he's treating you like this prior to you becoming pregnant you have no business having children with him okay don't He's not going to change. Like I said, it's going to get worse, okay? If he cares about you, and he ca even if you have a headache, the way he treats you, even when you have your uh, cycle, the way he treats you, that will show you how he's going to treat you when you're pregnant, when you're in the labor room, when you're about to deliver, okay? If he doesn't care about you during those times, run. Oh, dad he, he he just wants to be a dad he loves that position okay and he plays his role with grace comes back home from work oh you're cooking I'm laying the table I did the shopping list and I did the shopping too I brought the shopping you don't have to do it do you understand um, I'm filling the fridge with the shopping he doesn't leave it there for you to do it because he just went shopping. You know, he does it because he wants to do it. He's present. He's taking the bins out. You don't have to scream at him. He's hoovering. He's cleaning. That's the guy you want. That's the guy you want to have children with. Okay? Because it takes a lot to be a mother. So, pick the airport guy. Okay? And I'm not talking about those guys that pretend in public there are some guys who are like that in public they are really nice they are very lovely they are caring they are romantic they'll do everything but in private they are nasty okay they do it for the cameras they do it for the poses and you will tell in the beginning of your relationship does he care about what other people think about him you have no business with that guy okay if he cares so much about outside, the exterior, you have no business with that guy. So when you go out, you always look like the bad person. You'll be talking about, oh, he's not so great. He's this and that. And everyone like, look at him. He's opening the door for you. He's, you know, lacing up your shoes. He's doing this with the kids. What are you complaining about? I wish my husband could be all those things. But that's the only time he does that. Okay? That's the only time. When you come home, he's a different person. So pick your guys with care. Pick your guys the way you pick your makeup, your shade and your color. <laughs> like, take your time. Don't rush the process, okay? If you feel anything at all that is off about the guy, you have no business with him. Nobody is perfect. But there are certain things that you just can't compromise on. Empathy, no compromise. Selflessness, no compromise. Caring, no compromise should i go on 
I want you to be happy in your relationships and the decisions that you make in life. So choose wisely. Don't ignore the red flags. Pick a great guy because you're going to spend the rest of your life with them. Don't pick people who only think about themselves and not you. And don't pick people who gaslight you or belittle things that you go through. They are not going to make great dads. Okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.